there's nothing like the crystal clear waters of Lake Superior in the summertime. Lake Superior Day 2008 is right around the corner. So make your plans now to celebrate Lake Superior. The world's largest, cleanest freshwater lake will be honored on July 20th, 2008. According to Ojibwa lore, it's protected by the spirit of the deep sea. And if you can't come up with an idea on how to celebrate Lake Superior, we can help. Organizers have ideas for anglers and boaters, local governments and American Indian tribes, faith communities, environment groups, libraries, plus small and large businesses. For example, beach cleanups have been held by the Zen Buddhists and other faith communities in northern Michigan. Lake Superior Day was started in the early 1990s to highlight the importance of this great body of water and how it's vital to the environment and economy. The Lake Superior Binational Forum promotes this basin-wide event to highlight the special connections people have to this unique world treasure. Over the years, many events have been held to educate or entertain people about lake issues, special places, and recreational opportunities. Sitting on the shores of Lake Superior in Marquette, Michigan, two interfaith organizers reflect on the importance of this superior lake. Yeah, binational forum, I think, is, uh, is crucial uh, to that protection. Uh, we've got two countries here that are involved. Uh, people who live here, uh, the lake is the basic uh, geological and geographical fact. I know that uh, I know a lot of people who just drive by every day and they, they feel uh, as if they're not quite home unless they've you know, unless they've seen the lake on, uh, on that particular day. It's what makes uh, Marquette uh, Marquette. Uh, the Great Lakes are what make Michigan, Michigan. It's just part of our, part of our definition, part of who we are. Uh, for anything really to happen, there's, there's going to be uh, need of new, new levels of collaboration and partnership. And what's happening is a, is a consciousness is emerging, uh, a re-enchantment of the natural world. And that's combined with on-the-ground, practical, uh, hands-on work, and this is one of the gifts that I believe the religious communities bring uh, with a confidence of a certain goodness of, of this earth and which we call home, this garden we call home. Environmental crisis is actually bringing us together on an interfaith basis as well as deepening our own understanding of, of script, our own scriptures. So, What's better than a July picnic on the hot sandy beaches of Lake Superior? And while it's the coldest of the Great Lakes, it is warm in July. The Chippewa Indian translation, Gichigumi, signifies great water. Individuals and families, churches and kids, communities and clubs, businesses and industries hold activities or events that celebrate Lake Superior Day, and it's held annually on the third Sunday in July. This year, it's July 20th. You're invited to hold activities or events that celebrate this world-class lake. So do something that symbolizes your own connection to the Great Lake on July 20th and become part of a group of celebrations that will encircle Lake Superior. The lake's surface covers 31,700 square miles, or about the size of South Carolina. The lake is so big, it could hold all the water from the other four Great Lakes, plus three more lakes the size of Lake Erie. In 1985, scientists using a submersible vessel descended for the first time to the deepest part, which is near the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Lake Superior's deepest point is 1,332 feet, which would almost cover the Sears Tower in Chicago, one of the world's tallest buildings. The lake stretches approximately 350 miles from west to east and 160 miles north to south. If you could travel along the entire Lake Superior shoreline, you'd go 1,826 miles, or the distance from Duluth, Minnesota to San Francisco. This year, the theme is Let's Go Fly a Kite to symbolize clean energy sources such as wind power. 
Organize your group or family to fly a kite at your favorite beach or park on July 20th. For more information or to get a poster about flying a kite on Lake Superior Day, check out the Lake Superior Binational Forum website. Last year, almost 45 groups and communities participated in some way, including special events such as dragon boat races, beach cleanups, musical concerts, library displays, church services, and signed proclamations that designate the third Sunday in July as Lake Superior Day. On Lake Superior Day 2007, classical musicians from around the Great Lakes debuted the Boreal Chamber Symphony in Marquette, Michigan in an event sponsored by the Upper Peninsula Earth Keepers. Contact the Lake Superior Binational Forum to receive free color postcards and buttons to give to your Lake Superior supporters at your event. The forum's website offers ideas on how the day was celebrated last year and what you can do to celebrate Lake Superior. Visit superiorforum.info. Click on Current Projects. New information is posted regularly. For more information, email Lake Superior Day at northland.edu. That's Lake Superior Day at northland.edu. Or call 715-682-1489. That's 715-682-1489. The Lake Superior Binational Forum is a multi-sector stakeholder group of United States and Canadian volunteers that work together to provide input to governments about lake issues and educate basin residents about ways to protect and restore the lake. Members come from Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Ontario, Canada. In the United States, the Lake Superior Binational Forum main offices are located at Northland College in Ashland, Wisconsin that has a well-known environmental program and is funded in the U.S. by a grant from the United States Environmental Protection Agency's Great Lakes National Program Office in Chicago. The Canadian Forum offices is at Eco Superior in Thunder Bay, Ontario and funded by Environment Canada. I'm Greg Peterson, reporting for Earth Healing and Earth Keeper TV.